In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to embed Google Analytics into your WordPress site. This is necessary, especially if you want to track your statistics, see where visitors are coming from so that you can improve your site. You're going to need two things. You're going to need to have a Google Analytics account, and then you're going to need to log into your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so I'm at my WordPress dashboard. Now, before I do anything, I need to create a Google Analytics account if I don't have one already. Now, if you don't have one, simply go to google.com and type in Google Analytics. Now, if you have a Gmail account or a Google account or a Google Plus account, it's the same thing. So you can simply sign in to your Google account. Now I like Google analytics simply because they provide you with a ton of statistics and you want to make sure that you know, you know, who's coming to your website, where they're coming from, what countries are coming from and what's working and what's not so that you can improve your marketing. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, when you first log in, you're going to see your websites on the left side, your visits, your average session time, and the bounce rate. In order to add a brand new account, simply click on admin. And at the very top, you're going to see right under the accounts tab, new account. So click on this link. And you'll be forwarded to this page where you can enter your information, your website name, your website URL, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this information. And make sure that you follow the examples here, the HTTP colon slash slash, enter your www.yourdomain.com. And it has to be exactly the same domain for this to work. Click on industry category, enter your time zone, and set up your account. And normally by default, these are both are checked. I'm gonna leave them checked. Click on get tracking ID. Accept Google's terms and service. And there we go. So this is our tracking ID and this is what we need. Now they're gonna give you a code at the bottom here. You do not necessarily need this unless you are installing this on a non WordPress site because I'm gonna show you how to do it the easy way. So make sure that you highlight this, copy this because we're gonna need it later on. Now, before I move on to the WordPress dashboard, the cool thing about this is you can also track social settings. For example, if you have a YouTube account for your specific website, then you can actually enter this URL here. And it probably would be wise to do this. With that said, let's move on back to our WordPress dashboard here. Go under plugins, click on add new. Okay, so at this point, simply type in Google Analytics, click on search plugins, and you can choose any Google Analytics WordPress plugin that you want. Our whole goal here is simply to insert it so that Google Analytics can begin to track our site. Now, in this example, I'm gonna be using a plugin called the super simple Google Analytics. So if you want to, you can simply enter this into the search area at the very top. Click on install now. Click OK. Proceed by entering your FTP username and password. Click activate. 
and there we go. If we go under settings and click on Google Analytics, this is where we can enter our information. Now this is basically where you're gonna enter your information. If I go back here, all I need is this here. Simply copy this here. And remember there is a one at the very end and we just enter that here. Now these two boxes enable you to track additional data. If you wanna track administrator hits, which means if I go and visit the site, it's going to track that as well. In this case, I don't necessarily wanna do that. All I wanna know is if somebody else has come to my website. So I'm gonna leave these two unchecked. This relates to AdSense data. I'm not doing AdSense, so I don't need to do this. Click Save Changes, and there we go. Nothing fancy. If you wanna track your statistics, you're gonna to need to go back to the Google Analytics page over here, find the account, and you're gonna view the statistics. You won't actually see the statistics on the WordPress site. That's it.